Hello guys, in today's video we will learn about iter versus into iter versus iter mute in Rust. So let's say we have a collection which is a vector in Rust and the example numbers are 1 to 5 and we iterate over it we get three types of iterator iter, into iter and iter mute. Let's try to understand what is the difference between each of them. So for that let's loop and then for item in our nums dot uh, iter and then I will say print my number one by one which is the item and then let's once also print outside the for loop so uh, after for loop and just let's print using the format and complete array complete uh, vector so here we have a vector we iterate over it we print item one by one and then we print complete outside the uh, outside the loop now let's run as you can see once we get one two three four five that's in the loop and then after the loop okay now what iter does is iter just gives you a immutable reference or you can call it as a read only copy of all the items like it just gives you a read only reference or immutable reference to your uh, items or entries in your vector if you can see it's end i32 if you remember we learned in the previous videos when you do end and then the variable or value it's just uh, passing the immutable reference or a, a read only copy so as you can see we print everything in the, uh, in the loop and then we print outside the loop so when uh, when sh you should use iter is when you want to consume something in a loop and then you don't want to destroy it you can you want to consume it after the loop ends or uh, you don't want to modify in the loop and just uh, print something or uh, check something that's when you use iter okay so now let's clear it and let's understand what's into iter okay same everything else remains as it is so into iter gives you as you can see a ownership there is no end now end is gone it's just i32 so item is of i32 because it gives you the ownership so item has its ownership in previous example of iter nums have the ownership of all the entries but here when you use into iter item gets all the uh, ownership so basically when we run we get an error because what happens is when you run in the loop and then print everything in the loop when you come outside the loop it's gone the ownership is gone everything is like the nums is already invalidated because the ownership is gone there is no ownership now on of num uh, with num for all these uh, variables uh, all these entries so if i just comment it and then I clear and then rerun now I can just print this but if I uncomment this and then rerun it will give me error because the ownership is gone there is nothing in nums as we know from the previous videos that each item in the memory each entry has a owner which is the variable but once you give away the ownership you don't have the access you, you are invalidated basically so we understand what is into iter again when can you use into iter is basically when you want to use it just once in the loop and then destroy after that you don't want to use after loop that's when you use into iter now let's understand the third type which is iter mute this should be used with mutable as you can see uh, it gives us the error because our nums is immutable so let's convert it into the mutable so the first difference you already saw that iter mute can only be used with mutable collections okay now is it's mutable but now if you see the item type it's end mute i32 meaning it's a reference which you can modify as well okay so let's modify in the loop so we can say uh, star item and is equal to item into two okay or into item two Okay, so basically we uh, did multiply each of the entry by two and now let's print. Let's see what happens. If you see, we get two, four, six, eight, ten outside the array, uh, outside the loop. But if we print in the loop, that's same exactly. That's what we get. Uh, item. Okay. As you can see, two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, ten. So I ended up modifying my items in the loop. So iter mute you use when you want to modify your collection. Into iter you use when you want to just consume it in the loop and then destroy. And iter you use when you want to use after your loop has ended as well. So I hope you guys understand. That's it for this video. 
i'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching